Hi everyone, this is Food Steam Ahead and today we're doing an equipment review of, as you can see, water bottles. Um, there have been a few issues with this, just because one, uh, they took forever to arrive, um, but some were not clear, clear um, and listed well when I bought them. For instance, this, if you can see, um, was supposedly a water carrier device. I assumed it would be sealed, you could put water in it, and then you just popped it open and drunk. But as you can see, there is nothing sealing it. If you put water in it, obviously it's going to leak. It is basically just a cup. So if you're out walking and a bottle is just not good enough for you, um, you use this. I think it's absolutely ridiculous and not needed at all. So this was a disaster. Um, sorry about the train if you can hear that go by. Just a little peep peep, a little toot toot. Um, so we go on to these. These are all very similar designs. Um, they're just cute little bottles. I was quite hopeful with these. Um, let me just uh, show you what they look like on the inside. All right, a little pause there. So this is what they look like on the inside. I don't know if that's focusing very well, but you can see that there is like a, a lip area for your mouth. There we go. Ah, and another hole for unknown reason. They are ridiculously hard to fill. Um, I don't, you can't get this bit off. I think it's a bit silly. Also, they leak. Um, there's some tissue here so you can see it's not a lot at the beginning but I found as the day went on they really started um, to, to leak as you can see there so although they're really cute designs uh, as you see there they're just not going to do the job and they are a bit frustrating however if you think those are hard to fill uh, it's nothing in comparison to this one Yes, very cute. It's basically an IV bag. It's for obviously for comedy factor, but I couldn't even fill this. You have to fill it through the long straw tube, and I got that far and gave up. Um, it's just impossible to fill. You kind of need like a funnel syringy sort of thing, and it's just not good. And also, if I lay it down it leaks it just comes out whoop, whoop. so no not good not good at all um i'm just gonna prop that up by my giant african landstone um these ones are all oh there's water everywhere these ones are all uh i don't know what you call it a flexible flexible bottle um you attach them with the d chains and uh, yeah, they're really good. I like them when they're full, but the minute you drink too much of it, you can't balance it like that. And I do like the ability to put it down and not just always flat. But if you, you want to go walking or something, and you don't want something so solid in a handbag and you just want to attach it to your belt, uh, that's fine. I am not a belt wearer. I have no ability to dangle that from me, so I found them a bit pointless. But I can see that some people would like to attach them to their backpacks. Uh, this is my favourite because of the lid, and it is easier to um, fill up because the whole thing comes out. I'm even struggling to open it. Hold on a minute. Yay, I managed to open it. Um, so yeah, that is my favourite of the type, but I'm not really a hiker. I'm sure they'd be fine for that. So we go on to the um, last two. This is so cute. It honestly is my favourite. I took that around everywhere for a day. And although it's super cute, great to drink from, there is a problem. This lid, with those ridges, when you open it, it scars your hand. It's painful. I'm not even doing it up tight, but I mean, it's a good thing that it seals so well. But then 
even my friend and boyfriend who have extremely strong grips, I do not, um, when they tried to open it, it was super hard and they really did hurt their hands because of those ridges. So and that's out as well. So it ended up that this is the best one. It's just, I mean, it's, it's pretty. It's just a normal bottle. And so we get to this point where, yes, it's a lovely bottle, great for the gym or wherever you want to take it. But I personally um, tend to just use old water bottles and just keep those and use those. And I wouldn't say that this is any better than that. So pretty much not thrilled with any of these water bottles. This has not made me want to stop using old water bottles that I've already drunk water from and will re refill from the tap. So although this one I will keep, but it's very big, it's very wide, a water bottle's better. So all in all a bit of a failure on the water bottle uh, equipment uh, testing. Um, yeah. So next month we will be doing something different. We're going to be doing equipment reviews on peelers uh, from fruit peelers to veg peelers to ginger peelers. So hopefully that will be a better example and testing and they will actually work and be useful. None of these are useful. Um, yeah, so... That concludes our equipment review and the disaster that was. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. This is Food Steam Ahead. Toot toot!